Curse or Kinetic Energy Recovery System has been around in F1 for some time. Now let's see what it's like in a regular saloon. I'm here in Sweden test driving a Volvo prototype. It's one of a kind, Volvo's told me very gingerly. It's an S60 sedan with a Curse system strapped in the boot. Now, what's Curse, you ask? Well, Curse is a way of recapturing energy from braking, storing it in a flywheel, in this case, and then making that energy available to you when you need to accelerate, giving you that extra boost you need. As you slow down, it, the noise gets louder and it speeds up, obviously, because it's storing the energy. And then as you floor it, the, the noise kind of dies away and you're back to a regular engine. With Curse, you can have it two ways. You can have it as a, as a way to save energy. And uh, Volvo says in its energy saving mode, this Curse system can improve your efficiency by 25%. Or you can have it as boost, extra power. And in that mode, you add 80 horsepower to the existing engine. At the moment, this car has a T5 gasoline engine. Um, about 240 brake horsepower. So you add 80 horsepower to it. It's quite considerable. And I'm actually gonna switch now into the sport mode. And what you'll hear now is that the engine will start to uh, feed the curve system and give me some stored energy. So when I want to accelerate, I can accelerate uh, a little bit more easily. So we're gonna come around this straight now in sport mode. You can hear that engine whining away. Ready? Let's see. And it certainly does kick in. There you go, there's the curves. Kicking in, kicking in, kicking in, kicking in. Volvo says this will improve the 0 to 60 time of the standard T5 engine by about 1.5 seconds because you've got that eight, extra 80 brake horsepower kicking in, accelerating you, pushing you forward. And for that all to briefer time, it's about seven, eight, nine seconds of boost, you have an all-wheel drive car, which is great. Um, on this little tiny Volvo test track, the car's really very willing to give me that extra boost when I want it. And in sport mode, it's instantaneous. At the moment, Volvo is very cagey about cost, future production. Volvo's been testing this curse system for the past year in secret essentially and has said that it's now at a point where it's trying to decide whether it will continue to invest in the technology and move it forwards move it to production or whether it will go into something else now in total there's 20 million krona been invested in this drive system a current exchange rate that's, that's about two million pounds or uh, think two and a half three million dollars so it's not a small project but it is very impressive now I've got one one more time around the track it's got 63 percent charge in it so I'm gonna very gently squeeze the acceleration and we'll see how curves kicks in there it goes that's when it is continuously variable transmission so it can get the most torque out of the car as it needs to and you know I started that straight with 63 percent stored energy i've now only, i now only have eight um, and it's very quickly going back up now volvo told me this morning that this curse system in this car makes this five cylinder uh, t5 engine feel like a v6 uh, or a straight six and it does it feels like it's got that extra power and it's quite addictive because you've got that little whine in the boot every time you slow down and it's going, come on, come on, I want you to accelerate out of this corner. I want you to push it. I want you to go, 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 go. There you go. And it pushes you. It's brilliant. So this could be a real way for Volvo to meet its emissions deadlines without compromising performance, engine size, or luxury. And after all, that's Volvo's big thing, isn't it? Without compromise. This has been Nicky Gordon-Bloomfield in Gothenburg, Sweden.